Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a candy corn paper pieced table runner. And it uses the paper piecing block that I showed how to do in a previous tutorial and there will be a link below where you can find that. And then once you've made uh, some of the blocks, you can make a table runner or use it for uh, any different project that you want. But this is the particular project that I decided to use my blocks for. Now there are several different ways you can make a table runner. It's kind of like how there are several different ways to make a quilt. You can sew your blocks and sashing together and then quilt it with your batting and backing and then bind it. Another option is the quilt as you go method where you sew the blocks and sashing together and to the batting and backing at the same time and then you trim it all up and bind it and I am actually going to be doing a sort of hybrid. Um, I'm going to be doing the quilt as you go where I sew the blocks and sashing to the batting at the same time and then I'm going to be putting the backing on it so I can skip the binding altogether because I'm not that great at binding. Instead of regular batting I'm actually going to be using felt just because it's what I had on hand. I, it was free because I already had it and this isn't something that I'm going to have out all year round so it really isn't that big of a deal that I'm not using real batting. So to get started I have my three candy corn blocks, a few strips of fabric that are two and a quarter inches wide, my backing fabric, and the white felt. I chose to use three blocks but feel free to use more if you want a larger table runner. I laid the felt out flat and place down the first block about three inches from each edge. Then with the first sashing strip, I placed it right sides together with the block lining up the edges and trimmed it about the same length. Place a couple of pens through all three layers, then sew along the edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. This will not only attach the block and the sashing fabric, but also to the felt or batting being used. Open up the fabric and iron flat. Then add a strip on the other side of the block, right sides together. Trim to length, pin, and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Open it up and iron like before. Then add the next block. I wanted mine facing the opposite direction so it looks good from both sides of the table. Place right sides together, pin, sew, and iron. Continue to add sashing and blocks until you like the size. Now add sashing along the long sides to completely frame in the blocks. It's the same as before, just use more pens before sewing. As you can see, each of the lines that were sewn attached pieces together and quilted everything to the felt. Next, trim the felt the same size as the top. Cut the backing fabric at least as large as the pieced front and lay them right sides together. Pen in several places, then sew around the outer edges of all four sides, leaving about six inches open in one side for turning. I used about a 3 8 inch seam allowance, but use whatever you need at this point. Trim the corners and any excess fabric to eliminate bulk. Turn the entire thing right sides out through the opening and poke out the corners with something sharp. Iron everything flat, then top stitch around the entire outer edge to finish it off and to close up the opening. I also decided to do some extra quilting by sewing a border just inside the candy corn blocks to attach the backing in more places. Once the top stitching is done, your project is finished. This project is pretty easy because it's the same steps over and over, but it looks so great when completed. I hope you give this project a try and share some pics on social media sites with the hashtag Whitney Sews. And if you want to see other fall or Halloween tutorials that I've done, there will be a playlist linked below with all of them in it. And in the comments, let me know what you have been working on, either um, 
for Halloween or maybe some fall decor or early Christmas presents. Um, just let me know what you've been working on. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye!